good morning students and welcome to today's class so in the previous class we did a quick recap and revision of large numbers right so today what we are going to do is we are going to start with the next topic that is basic four operations on numbers so before we start that let's see the four fundamental operations that we use in mathematics every day so first is addition so definition of addition it's nothing but the act of adding two or more things or numbers together so the answer that you get or the result you get is called sum okay so parts of addition addends addends refer to two or more numbers being added so the numbers that you're adding together they are called addends and sum is a result of the addition or the total so the result or the total that you get it is called the sum so you uh, here you need to remember addends that is the numbers you're adding and sum that is the result you get when you add two numbers okay and then the next operation is okay before we see the next operation let's see an example so here we have 2 plus 6 is equal to 8 okay so here the addends will be 2 and 6 and sum is 8 okay so this is add in then sum next the next operation which is subtraction it is nothing but the, it is the inverse of addition it is taking away something from another all right for example if you had four apples and you ate two apples from that so you're left with two apples so you took away two apples from the set of four apples so you subtracted them okay so here uh, the different parts in subtraction minuend is the first number where the second number is subtracted from the the first number from which you subtract another number it is called minuend and the number that is being subtracted is called subtrahend okay it is called subtrahend then the result of subtraction that you get or also known as the remainder it is called the difference okay it is called the difference so here you have to remember minuend which is the first number from which another number is subtracted then subtrahend from which the number is being subtracted and the difference the result of subtraction or the remainder is called difference then here is an example 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 so here 4 is the minuend 3 is the subtrahend and 1 is the difference okay then we have multiplication now what is the definition of multiplication the process of combining matrices vectors or other quantities under specific rule to obtain their product okay so here you are basically multiplying the object multiplication is also known as repeated addition multiplication is repeated addition so when you are adding 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 so instead of adding 2 4 times like that what you can do you can just do 2 into 4 and get 8 okay so here factors are numbers you can multiply together to get another number okay so the num two numbers two or more numbers you multiply together that is the, those are called factors and the result of multiplication is called as product so here is an example 2 into 3 is equal to 6 here 2 and 3 are called the factors and 6 is the product then we have division what is the meaning of division the operation of determining how many times one quantity is contained in another so it is the inverse of multiplication just like subtraction is inverse of addition division is inverse of multiplication okay so you can see how many times one quantity is contained in another so example parts of division so divided here it is a number that is divided by another number in a division operation okay divisor is the number which is used to divide quotient is your result and the leftover part is called the remainder okay so you have to remember here dividend divisor quotient and remainder all right then example 7 divided by 2 so when you divide 7 by 2 you get 3 with the remainder 1 so 7 is dividend here 2 is divisor 3 is the quotient and 1 is the remainder okay so this is division all right so this were four basic operations 
of mathematics now what we'll do we'll see a few questions uh, of on these four operations in your textbook so page page 92 in your textbooks here warm up exercise that is there okay so add the following numbers so let's add these numbers how much is 5 plus 4 5 plus 4 is 9 then 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 2 8 and 4 plus 2 6 right so let's write the answer so we have 6 then okay sorry i'll choose another color so it's visible so we have 6 then 8 then 6 again then 4 and 9 so your answer is 68649 okay then 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 4 9 7 plus 8 and now we have right 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 4 9 okay now 7 plus 8 when you do 7 plus 8 you get 15 so what you'll do is you'll separate that 15 as 5 and 1 so 5 will write here and then carry over 1 to the next place so then 1 plus 2 3 and 3 plus 5 8 so you'll write 8 and then 4 plus 6 is 10 so write 10 here because there's no uh, place there you'll just write 10 okay so that is 1 lakh 8595 then subtraction so 7 minus 6 how much is 7 minus 6 that is 1 then 6 minus 8 you can't do 6 minus 8 so you'll borrow 1 from 5 okay you'll borrow 1 from 5 so 5 becomes 4 and 6 becomes 16 so 16 minus 8 is 8 4 minus 0 is 4 and again here you can't do 4 minus 7 so we'll borrow 1 from 8 so that 8 becomes 7 and 4 becomes 14 so 14 minus 7 is 7 and 7 minus 7 will be 0 so any number subtracted by itself is 0 then 0 minus 3 again you can't do anything here you can't subtract so you'll borrow but to borrow you have 0 again so what we'll do first we'll borrow from 7 make this 6 this becomes 10 now you borrow from this 10 so this 10 becomes 9 and this 0 becomes 10 so 10 minus 3 is 7 9 minus 5 is 4 6 minus 6 is 0 5 minus 3 is 2 and 6 minus 4 is 2 so 22047 okay and then next question fill in the blanks so 3485 into 100 so how do you do this what you do here is it is very simple you write 3485 as it is then in 100 we have two zeros so we'll write two zeros so your answer is 3,48,500 then 4725 minus 1000 so what will be just subtract the thousands place so 4 minus 1 3 so 3725 so now here addition 7842 plus 2000 so add the thousands place 7 and 2 9 then 8 4 to 9842 then 6500 divided by 100 now as you see 100 has two zeros and 6500 also has two zeros so you can cancel those two zeros and your quotient will be 65 then 3649 plus something is 3749 so to make this 3749 you'll add 100 okay then 53 into dash is equal to 1000 so that will be how many zeros are there in 53000 we have three zeros so that means this number is 1000 then 9370 divided by something is 937 in 9370 i have one zero and in 937 we have no zero so it means we have taken that out taken that zero out so that means i'll divide it by 10 so that 0 from 10 and the 0 from 9370 gets cancelled then 4798 
फोर सेवन नाइन एट माइनस समथिंग इज फोर फाइव नाइन एट सो इफ यू सी ओनली हंड्रेड प्लेस इज चेंजिंग हाउ इज इट चेंजिंग इट इज चेंजिंग इट इज डिक्रीजिंग बाय टू सो दैट मीन्स आई एल सब्ट्रैक्ट टू हंड्रेड ओके सो दैट इज द लास्ट आंसर फॉर क्वेश्चन थ्री नाउ फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स विद द करेक्ट सिंबल ओके सो टू थ्री सेवन एट ब्लैंक थ्री इज इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू टू जीरो सेवन एट सो इफ यू सी दिस थ्री हैज डिक्रीज टू जीरो इन दिस नंबर सो एंड हेयर वी हैव थ्री हंड्रेड सो इट मीन्स वी आर सब्ट्रैक्टिंग थ्री हंड्रेड हेयर सो माइनस देन फोर फिफ्टी ब्लैंक हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड सो वॉट यू आर डूइंग हेयर इट इज इंक्रीजिंग सो इट मीन्स वी आर मल्टीप्लाइंग एंड देन सिक्स फाइव वन फोर एंड थाउजेंड and it's equal to 7514 so here the number is increasing only the as you see if you add 6514 and 1000 it becomes 7514 so that will be addition and the last one 3580 then 10 is equal to 358 so the number is decreasing but it is not it can't be subtraction so it has to be division okay so that is division so put the division symbol here okay so just put a dot there all right so write the division symbol then next one question 4 simplify using shortcuts so how will you do that now they have given one example 4 into 16 into 25 okay so 25 into 4 you'll get a 100 so it will be very easy to multiply so 25 into 400 and into 16 1600 so let's see how we'll do here so 234 into 5 into 40 so what we'll do we'll multiply 5 into 40 first because as it is easier to multiply so when you do that 5 into 40 5 fours as 20 so that becomes 200 now what you'll do first write the two zeros from 200 as it is then multiply 2 with 234 so when you do that you will get 2 fours are 8 2 threes are 6 2 twos are 4 so that will be 4 6 8 double zero so 46800 is the answer okay 46800 Next, fifteen into thirty-four into twenty. So first multiply fifteen into twenty, then multiply thirty-four with it. So fifteen into twenty. How you will multiply? Fifteen two zero is thirty. So you can just write thirty and add the zero from twenty there. So three hundred into thirty-four. So that now how will you do? Three four zero is twelve. So what you will do first? You will multiply three with thirty. Four. So when you do that, you will get hundred and two. So hundred and two and the two zeros of three hundred. So that becomes ten thousand two hundred. Okay. So this is how you simplify and multiply. Then divide by short division method. Okay. So uh, divide using the short division method. So this is your homework. Okay, divide and then write the quotient and the remainders. Then estimate the product by rounding off the multiplier as directed. Okay, first one they have done. They have rounded it off to nearest ten. So four fifty three rounded off to nearest ten will be what? It will be four hundred and fifty only. And then eighteen rounded off to Okay, so you don't have to round off four fifty three. You just have to round off eighteen. So that will be four fifty three into twenty. They have already done that. So now what you'll do? You'll multiply the two numbers. So when you multiply, you'll get nine zero six zero nine thousand sixty. Okay, and then three thousand seven eighty five into hundred and Three. So three seven eight five into hundred and three. So when I, I 
the round of 103 to nearest 100 it will be 100 so your answer will be 37850 3,78,500 okay so this is how you do uh, the basic operations now we'll apply four basic operations on large numbers so what we'll do is in the next class we will see addition and subtraction of large numbers okay so we'll start with addition and subtraction of large numbers and then we'll move on to multiplication and division as we go on okay uh, so i'll see you all in the next class students thank you